I'm finally back from Brazil. I just got back from spending over an entire month down in Brazil visiting my girlfriend, Carly Lloyd. She's the setter of the USA women's national team and also one of the top pro teams down in Brazil right now named Praia Clube. Número tres, Carly. And I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my entire trip, all the amazing places I got to see in such a short amount of time. I literally flew 17,000 miles, took 16 different flights, all in 37 days. Like, what? My roommate just texted me and he said that the maid is coming in like 15 minutes, so I gotta get this done quick. While I was down there, I was able to watch six different matches of the Women's Professional Indoor League in four different cities. Sao Paulo, Uberlândia, Rio de Janeiro, and Bauru. And the first thing that I noticed are the fans' passion for the game. It's out of this world. They sing, they dance, heckle, chant the entire match. Some of them have drums, some of them have microphones, and it is non-stop fire the whole time. It's such, it's such an amazing atmosphere to play in as a volleyball player. And now I understand why Brazil is so great every single year, both in indoor volleyball and on the beach. They are obsessed with volleyball. Obsessed. They treat players as if they were celebrities or NBA players. Every single place we went to, someone wanted a picture of Carly. Whether it was in Uberlândia or Sao Paulo or even in Buzios, which is a four hour drive outside of Rio de Janeiro. At two of the matches, I even had to escort Carly to the bus. Otherwise we would have been there forever taking pictures. And I also will say that the Brazilians are extremely good at taking selfies. Incredibly efficient. One fan even drew a picture of Carly and gave it to her after the match. It's really good. What do you think? It was really cool to see that kind of fire for our sport because in the US, that's just not always the case. Carly plays in this city called Uberlândia, which is located in the southeastern part of the country in the Brazilian highlands. So it's not in the Amazon. It was an amazing place to visit in December because I cannot stand daylight savings. I, can't, I hate when the sun goes down at 4.30, whereas in Brazil, they're in the heart of summer. It was perfect. The weather actually reminded me a lot of Hawaii's weather. One second, it would be perfect blue skies and the next it would be thundering rainstorms out of nowhere and then that would repeat every hour or so how about this rain that just came out of nowhere and it's it's still sunny right over there the club she played for was also killer they had like three pools a water park two weight rooms multiple gyms for basketball volleyball and futsal a soccer stadium, beach volleyball courts, and even courts for this other sport, which I'm still confused as to what it is. It's like a combo between badminton and volleyball, but played with what looks like a Powerade bottle. And just outside her apartment, every single weekend, they had this cute little market where you could get all your grocery shopping done, selling the most delicious fruits that you'd expect out of Brazil. Okay, what did we get? The guava to try. Ooh, mango. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is an atemoya, but I don't know for sure. Fruit I've never seen before, it's called the uh, atemoya, which it literally, it looks like a dragon egg, but the inside meat it's tastes like, like sweet, sweet cream. It was, sweet. it was out of this world. You wanna try? Yeah, you try it first. You try it with me? No. It's good? It's good. Don't eat the seeds? Mm -mm. Just suck off the juice stuff. It's like cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those seeds are no joke though. I know. Seeds are gnarly. Huh? How is this a fruit? I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go down and get another one. <laughs> but despite Carly's busy travel schedule, I actually went back and tallied up all 16 flights to bus rides, racking up 6,000 miles just in Brazil alone. 
crazy. We were lucky enough to have time off for the holidays. So right after our match against Osasco in Sao Paulo, Carly and I flew to Rio, and then we took a four hour bus ride to this place called Buzios. And guys, this place was magical. <laughs> Our hotel room overlooked the entire bay and every single day we would walk down out of our hotel room to the beach Welcome to and you could take a water taxi to the neighboring beaches and we just went to a different beach every day via water taxi. So we went to as well in Fernandez. Today we are going to San Juan. Benvindo. Benvindo a Praia. We ate freshly caught fish, had massages on the beach, drank way too many caipirinhas, and of course had a bunch of acai served from a boat that pulled up to the beach naturally. And then we just pack up our stuff, jump in a water taxi again, and head back to our hotel. It was very cool. And one of the most interesting parts about this place was that this entire trip, Carly has been the communicator. She speaks Portuguese. But at this place, most of the people spoke Spanish. So if you speak Spanish, I highly recommend giving this place a visit. But anyway, that is my trip. Um, as you can see, my apartment is a disaster, so um, I guess for the rest of the day, I'm going to be editing this video, and then I should probably um, address this disaster that my roommate left me with. Peace out, guys. Yes. Snap your fingers. Yeah.